Adam, that's not how it's, that, he could have told Adam, no, Adam, the woman should be by, the woman's going to be by herself. The woman is going to be on, 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 I'm in Houston. The woman is going to be in, uh, out there in Bridgeland or Katy or Seco Ranch or I'm in Texas. So she's no, no, Adam, she's going to be in Tennessee. She don't need you, bro. Apparently, look and watch this. He could, God could have said, no, Adam, I am enough. He could have said, no, I am enough. I am enough for her. She don't need you. I don't need no man. I'm going to go out here and get it myself. When it never told the woman to do none of it. All right, man. So we're back. Um, I guess part two. Boy, this is this is so good, uh, so good. So so, like I was saying, it's important that women. Let me let me let me say this. Women, it's important that you pick a atom. That you align yourself with a atom. So so far, we've seen that. God made Adam. Adam is not, he didn't pre-exist. He's created. Man, Adam is created. Man is in, should be in relationship with his creator. Man should have work. Man should be a protector. These are all things that God instilled, created, placed, told, the, uh, instructed man, boy, why is this keep moving? Instructed man, man to do before he, excuse me, before he created woman, before woman was even a living creature. Matter of fact, all we know as of right now, because you know, verse 18, we're in verse 19, it's just the term. God said, I'm going to make him a help me. We don't know what that is yet. We, we, we don't know. We don't know what that looks like. We don't know if that's a thing, if that's a instrument, if that's a, uh, is that a, uh, a tool? You know, is, is it something, uh, mechanical? We, we don't know, but he went on to continue God to continue to work. He went on to continue to work and produce with Adam. Again, 19 Genesis chapter two, verse 19 and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. God gave Adam free will to give identity. Women, when you have a baby, it's so important that you allow the man to give the child identity. This is what's going on in the world right now. This is why we have so many sons that are frustrated, so many daughters that are frustrated, so many men and women that are unbalanced. They're unbalanced. This is not what God had designed for the family when it comes to what we see in the world right now. This is not. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for This is not. This is not. This is not what God wanted when it came to family. This, this, what he, this, this crap that we see right now, all of this broken households and all this single mothers and single fathers or whatever, and, and all these people that's running around here thinking that you can be a man and you can be a, a woman or what have you, and, and we're changing the definition of, of man and we're changing the definition of, of woman. This is all the attack 
of the enemy. You got to be able to understand something. And, I, and I'm going to get into this on another video. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is not a flesh and blood, flesh and blood issue. The Bible says that we wrestle against principalities in heavenly and high places. This is this this type of evil that the world is seeing. It is not. It is not. It is not of God. It is not from God. God does not want women raising kids by themselves. God don't want husbands on child support uh, having to struggle between choosing to whether or not he's going to pay his bills or he's going to have enough or he's going to go to jail or, or, or what have you. Or will, will he even see his kids for that matter? This is not the plan of God when it comes when it comes to families. This is not. This is not. But let me get back. Let me get back on topic. So, 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 so God uh, gave the animals to Adam to see what he would say. And whatever, it, whatever Adam said, that's what God allowed to be free will. All right. And the Lord got and, and, and verse 20 and Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. So Adam is looking around and he's seeing the animals. He see the cattle. He see the alligators. He see the giraffes. Giraffes. He see the lions because because God is going to always make sure that the world duplicates itself. He made them uh, male and female so they can. Uh, go out and produce in the earth so they can so 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 they can uh, reproduce so they can have cubs and have uh, chickens and, you know, and cows and does and, 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 and whatever, male and female. And Adam looked around and he said, you know what? Now he's ready. Are you listening? Now he is ready. He asked the question or he suggests there is nothing that look like me. There is nothing that has my build, my likeness, my eyes, my hands, my feet. There is nothing right that look like me. And then. The word says in verse 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall. Now notice, it wasn't until Adam said, it's nothing that looked like me. It's nothing. I want something that looked like me along my journey. There's nothing. And then God caused. God said, okay. He's ready. Got to understand something. God is concerned about the matters and the concerns of men. This is a prime example. It wasn't until his creation, his son, his, um, uh, 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 yeah, his son, his, the one that he's been taking care of the one that he's been teaching, the one that he has been pouring into, the one that he has been being been a example to said, I am ready, daddy, God, I, Adam, is ready for something, a help me that looked like me because I'm looking around, nothing looks like me. And then the Lord God called, because he's a good God, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. <laughs> That's what the words, I bet that was a good deep sleep. And he took one rib. He took. He took. God only created one man. One time. Everything that came after that, he took from man and close up the flesh instead thereof. So he took a rib out of man and closed up the flesh. 
and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he, made who? He, he suggesting Adam a woman. This is the word, verse 22. We're keeping it simple. And the Lord and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto him. Why would he create the woman and bring the woman to Adam if the woman is meant to be out here in the world by herself? It doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't God just plant the woman somewhere on the other side of the garden, right? If she's meant to go out here and do it on her own and not need a man and create and build and, and buy a house and, and, buy, and, and you know, create on her own. It, the, matter of fact, the, 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 it, 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 how, ooh, I'm going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. Okay, so he says, 22, and the rib which the Lord had taken from man, taken from man, right? Made he, man, a woman and brought her unto Adam. Verse 23, and Adam said, why? Because he said everything else. He, he, he spoke over everything else that God gave him. So why wouldn't he speak over the woman that God gave him? God did not give the woman, the man to woman. He didn't do it that way because woman, man is not made for woman. Woman is made for man just so happened when you do it that way both people end up being made for each other so all of this that's going on in the world i don't need no man i can do it on my own i don't need no woman i can do it on my own that's all lies that's all lies that's all lies now let me say this the man can go out and create he can go out and get a job. He can go out and do all of those things because he was doing that before Eve came on the scene. And ladies, you got to understand something. It wasn't until Adam said it's not good. I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it, that Adam said, um, I, I, I don't see anything in the garden that looks like me. Now, and if you go back further, God said it's not good for man to be alone. I will make him a help meet. Then Adam said a few verses down, um, and, and uh, Adam, uh, Adam said, verse 20, he said, Adam said, there was not found a help meet for him. Adam looking around, he said, I don't see nothing that, that look like me. And the Lord God calls. Because now Adam said, Adam said, okay, God has said, okay, well, he's saying this. He's ready. I'm going to make him a help me. Right? I'm going to make him a woman. And I'm going to bring her to him. And I'm going to let him choose what he's going to call her. Identity. And Adam said, there is, this is now, and at, verse 23, and Adam said, after God created the woman and brought her to Adam, out of my rib, I'm playing God, I'm not God. I formed woman out of my rib. This is woman. Here, Adam. Here. Here. Place the woman in front of Adam. Adam looks in verse 23, Adam starts speaking. 
and the Lord and Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. Why would he say bone? Because woman is bone of his bone. She is his rib and flesh of my flesh. Because when God does something, he's going to do it the right way. He just didn't get, he just didn't have a rib. He created her, right? Gave her flesh. She shall be called woman, woman, W-O-M-A-N, because she was taken out of man. Then he started prophesying. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. He said, therefore, shall a man. Therefore shall a man, shall a man, it never told, the word of God never told the woman to leave home. He said the man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave, this boy and prophesied father and mother into, into uh, existence. We don't know what father and mother is. But because God gave him identity, gave him purpose, whatever he speaks is going to come to pass. The only father and mother Adam knew up until this point was the animals. That's it. Now, you can't say he knew father and, 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 father, uh, and son because of his relationship with God. You can say that he saw God as father. But far as mother, that's not, that's his only example of that was the animals that he saw. That was it. Nothing else. So he says, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave. That word cleave, that's a powerful word. That word cleave, that word cleaves mean cling, stick. Stay close. Keep close. Stick to. Follow closely. Join to. Overtake. <laughs> Clack, uh, catch. These are that's the def, that those are the definitions in the Strong's dis, uh, dictionary of what the word cleave uh, is, uh, is well, that's the definition of it. I'll just keep it simple. That's the definition of it. That's what the word means, to stick with. So, the, so he's saying, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave, stick to, stay with, stay close, uh, become one unto his wife. Not his girlfriend, not his, uh, what do they call these chicks? Not his chick, not his boo, not his uh, side piece, not his concubine, nothing. It says, cleave unto his wife. God doesn't care about nothing else when it comes to relationship. But husband and wife, and they shall be one flesh. Boy, I prophesied, and they shall be one flesh. So, it never told, Adam never gave, command. now, God approves all this. <laughs> because he didn't tell Adam, no, that's not how it's going to be. He could have told Adam, that's not how, that, he could have told Adam. No, Adam, the woman should be by the woman's gonna be by herself. The woman is gonna be on 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 I'm in Houston. The woman is gonna be in uh out there in Brisland or Katy or Seco Ranch or I'm in Texas. So she's no no Adam. She's gonna be in Tennessee. She don't need you, bro. Apparently, look and watch this. He could, God could have said, no, Adam, I am enough. He could have said, no, I am enough. I am enough for 
her. She don't need you. I don't need no man. I'm going to go out here and get it myself. When it never told the woman to do none of it. That's not the role of the wife. It's not. If it was the role of the wife to do all of these things, he wouldn't have never said, help meet. Your job is supposed to be easy. Here's the truth. Whenever we, man or woman, choose to do it outside of what God intended,